those of you who have persevered this far, I have a couple words of, uh, to the wise that you might consider. First is that you try to train outdoors whenever possible, except in high wind and rain, of course. But you shouldn't even let very cold weather stop you as long as you have ample footing and, uh, like I say, the wind's not blowing you around. Secondly, try to train away from people. They're very distracting when you're trying to do inner work. Third, don't train too much. The fatigue burden will prevent you from perfecting any of these skills that have been portrayed on this tape. And perhaps lastly, don't get caught up too much in the physical aspects of Tai Chi Chuan. This is but an introductory tape, and necessarily so, I'm not able to do anything here except show you physical performance of these moves. Now, if you've partaken of our uh, introduction to Tai Chi Chuan training tape, there are some other training aspects to Tai Chi which are presented there, uh, mainly in the form of breath control. Uh, controlling the physical aspects, the breath pattern, the breathing pattern, and the mental projections constitutes a very complete training program for Tai Chi Chuan. After you get a hold of these uh, physical postures and uh, are able to do them with fair ease, try to coordinate your breath with each posture. That is, when you ex bring your limbs in, that would be an inhalation. And when they go out, exhalation. Breathe from your lower diaphragm rather than your upper chest cavity. Now, the third aspect then to the training is the mental concentration part. Uh, if you are coordinating your body movements, your breath control, and your mental projection with the two previous aspects, you're going to have some very wonderful Tai Chi practice. When you uh, breathe out and your limbs extend out, you should be thinking in terms of bringing energy from the lower part of your abdomen up your body and out the limbs. All right, for the last portion of this tape, we're going to again have roving camera with names of, for the postures. The names are merely to help people in their training. Uh, they aren't anything absolute. You're going to find several names for the same posture. Uh, and it depends on which uh, Tai Chi style you study with and who the teacher is. It really doesn't matter. The names are just something, just an aid. They aren't anything to get attached to. Uh, names and talking don't mean much and I'm going to shut up. Preparation stand. Opening gesture. Yin Yi Chang. Old man points away. We're off to the left. We're off to the right. Roll back. Press, withdraw, push. Single whip. Raise hand. One inch step. Dark cools wings. Brush left knee. Step up. Play the guitar. Brush left knee again. Brush 
right knee. Good. Left knee. Wipe off twist, deflect downward. Turn and punch. Wipe off and withdraw. Push. Open the curtain. Hold arms. Carry Tiger to the mountain. And brush knee. Roll back. Press. Withdraw. And push. Single whip. Fist under the elbow. Planting flying. Wave hands like clouds. Single whip. Snake creeps down. Golden rooster. Golden rooster. Starting on the right foot. Starting on the left foot. Turn and heel kick. Push left knee. Right knee. Step up and hit with fist. Roll off right. Roll back. Brush. Withdraw. Push. Single whip. Fair lady works the shuttle. Four corners. And it creeps down. Seven star punch. Retreat to ride the tiger. Little spin. Kick. Spin the ball, shoot the tiger. Twist. Deflect downward. Parry. And punch. Wipe off and withdraw. Push. Curtains, fold arms, conclusions. 